This is, you heard Kaiser, you heard everybody else. Everybody knows this is not a game. I mean, they're announcing world government. Max, I want to go to calls here with you, and I appreciate all your time, MaxKaiser.com. Uh, but what do you make of the Vatican coming out and calling for world government, world currency? And then meanwhile, we get demonized if we talk about the internal documents that are public where these corporations that engineered all this want world government, a global private banking dictatorship. Well, the Pope's got penis envy, Alex, because Lloyd Blankfein of Goldman Sachs came out and said that he's doing God's work. The Pope immediately said, wait a minute, no, wait, I'm the Vatican, I should be doing God's work. So he's going to start a global bank and a global hedge fund to complete with Lloyd Blankfein. So it's a weenie-waving contest between the Vatican and, and Goldman Sachs, because at the heart of all these scandals are a couple of inadequate little boys playing with their peenies. Oh, uh, that's enough, Kaiser Family Show. Give them a big kiss. All right, that's enough. Come on, man. You're a serious stockbroker, financial guy. You're out of... Up in a major scandal in Ireland for pedophilia. The Irish government had to take their embassies out of the Vatican. They're caught up in this global pedophilia scandal. The Pope says nothing. The Murphy report is clear that they're engaging in pedophilia all over the world. The Vatican says nothing. Then they're going to start a world bank and a world currency. Why? Because Lloyd Blankfein said he was doing God's work? What an immature little baby that Pope is. He should be put over somebody's uh, lap and spanked. All right. Kaiser, you're out of control. I. Apologize for Kaiser's activities, ladies and gentlemen. Please plug your ears. We try not to. Okay, let's let's take a call here. Uh, thanks for holding. We'll go to Daniel the first, and then Bill. But let's go to Jim in uh, Washington. No, 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 Justin in Washington. You're on the air. Go ahead, sir. You're on the air with Max Kaiser. Hey, what's up, uh, Alex? Love your show, and I would like to put a word out to Jesse Ventura. We love you, man. We appreciate what you're doing. And uh, I just thought of a camp. Uh, campaign ad for TSA to, to hurt against them, but TSA stop groping people. The Vatican hates competition. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> We're on a roll today. Okay, go ahead, sir. Uh, yeah. Um, the whole TSA situation is, you know, I heard I was, I've been on for like hours, over an hour now. I'm about, I'm on, kind of on the G, uh, Jesse Ventura thing is, uh, what, what is, what, what more can we do to help uh, get the movement going against the TSA? Because, that's, that, I mean, of course, they're the one of the main You should things. call restaurant association, the hotel associations, everybody, and say, I'm not traveling to your town. I'm not going on your trip. And, by the way, they've doubled the amount of people on buses now. They're everywhere. Now the TSA is like, no, we're going to grab your daughter's genitals and your wife's genitals and your son's genitals and your genitals. You're not escaping us. We're here to force ourselves on you. We're scum. I mean, it's just it's such a joke. I mean, anybody who doubts the government staged the terror attacks, look at it. Look what they've done. It's incredible. Uh, uh, but uh, let everybody know. Look, they know $40 billion's being lost. But keep poking at industries that are dying. I mean, you heard Max. You heard Ventura. It's in the news. Europeans won't come here. I can. I have to. I'm trying to make Paul Watson come here for a business meeting, and he keeps begging, "Please, no! Don't make me! Don't make me go through it! Don't make me go there!" They're so. I mean, it's like Nazi Germany. Look, I liken it to one of those old 1930s or 40s action adventure movies that uh, Indiana Jones is a is a redo of, where. The archaeologist explorer stuck in the pyramid, and the sand's coming in, or the water's coming in, and it's going up. And it was at our feet, and I'm like, we better get out of here. Now it's at our chest, then at our necks. Now we're up in a little corner trying to get air. And I'm like, folks, I'll assure you, this is historically not a very good thing. And the, I mean, this is, Max, is that a good analogy for the tyranny level we're going into? Right, it's the boiling frog syndrome. You know, the boiling frog is sitting in the uh, pot with the water and the heat goes up and he thinks about jumping out and the heat gets a little hotter and he thinks about jumping out and before you know it, he's cooked. He never jumped. Yeah, but, but listen, I've been around the world. You've been around the world more than I have, I would imagine. I mean, it's bad all over and this is a global system. This is global banks, as you've said, setting this up. They're going to do it everywhere. There's nowhere to run. 
without all of the major the g20 nations the major cities major nations that this is a global problem but it's a big bad big big world out there alex and there are areas of the world that are uh, one can uh, go to to ride out this storm and you know everyone should do their research on this but i think you need to have that exit plan in your back pocket in case you need to do it in case you need to move you can move quickly and you should definitely get a passport and you should try to get a second passport just to have that safety measure otherwise you might find yourself unable to escape in a, an economy that's collapsed beyond anyone's current projection and the authorities being run by these clockwork orange like thugs who just roam the countryside with sticks and guns and rape and beat people and you want to get out of there you got to at least Leave that option open. Oh, it's just, it's so sad. Let's talk to Daniel in New York, listening on 1310 AM and up in the Rochester, Buffalo area. Daniel, thanks for holding her on the air with Max Kaiser. Hey, thank you, Alex. I just want to say I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. And Max, I just want to say thanks for all the information that you're putting out as well. Um, is it all right if I give out my website? Yeah, go ahead. It's uh, anti-newworldorderparty.com. We're trying to build a global network to help support patriots that want to run for constitutional um, law and also want to restore America. And I would just encourage your listeners to come out and support us at anti-newworldorderparty.com. And I just thank you, Alex, for all you've done in 1310 AM as well in Rochester, New York. Yeah, they're great people. Been on there like over, I don't know, 12, 13 years. Great people. Old Dr. Wolf was a great guy. I guess his son still runs it. Wonderful people. Thank you. Uh, well, I tell you, it makes me want to throw up where this country's gone. We are in so much trouble. I have to look at my children every day. But for the betterment of society, I stay here. I mean, I could run to Argentina, Costa Rica, but it's a limited deal. Uh, I'm going to stay here where I've got my maximum amount of awake people, and I'm, whatever they do, I'm ready. I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to take it. The setup, the torture, the killing, whatever, the, I just I'm going head up against them. Somebody's got to go head up against them, and I'm like, I, I don't want to liken myself to Colonel Travis, but I'm going down with the Alamo here. Max Kaiser, closing comments. Well, um, yeah, this has come down to the um, the big choice one has to make. I think you know you're making your choice. Uh, I think other people will make a different choice, but it's unfortunate that the situation has gotten so bad that for the vast uh, number of people in the U.S., the, the best choice that they can make is to leave the country as a way to save themselves and their families. It's, it's unfortunate it's come to that, but you know, there's, no, there's no pride in, in being marched into the incinerator and, and being burned to death. Yeah, so no, I, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be marched anywhere. We're trying to fix things peaceful, Max. We're here alerting the people to get ready to defend themselves. We're here. You're always saying, look at history, look at history. That's what I'm saying, that the same people that happened to 50, 80, 70 years ago, it's, they thought the same thing as what you're saying. It can't happen, but it did, and the same people are in charge, so why would it be any different? Incredible interview, Max Kaiser. Uh, God bless you. We'll talk to you soon. All right, buddy. There he goes. Are the other callers? Great job of the crew. Seven o'clock tonight. PrisonPlanet.tv. Spread the word. This isn't a game. This isn't a joke. Retransmission starts now. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.